Hey guys and welcome to the Ozone. Today, <laughs> I'm literally recording this just after having a, a chat with my friends and um, we're talking about um, Step Closer, the first story in Step Closer. Um, so first of all I must say, uh, if you haven't read Step Closer, there are spoilers here. Um, I have done an entire audiobook on it so if, if you want to read it, uh, it's all up there. Uh, it's it's two hours long. You literally go read it before watching this video. I am telling you right now that this story gives us evidence, like massive, massive, like basically confirmation on who Michael Afton is. And it's very, very big news. So if you want to hear more news like this, then uh, make sure you subscribe give this video a like if you agree with me uh, and make sure you type in your theories in the comments below I'm pretty sure this is Scott confirming to us who Michael Afton actually is now you probably are like doubtful you're probably like mm, probably not um, but I'm telling you I am telling you right now there is there is so much evidence um, I I am going to supply to you one piece of evidence that um, I'm, I'm actually going to credit to uh, Emperor Krakoa. I can never say that name right. Emperor Krakoa, who will be in the description below. Uh, also a little bit to underscore. Um, he was talking about it with me as well. Um, but all credit goes to him because this is such a good piece of evidence. Um, obviously, there's so like Pete is a parallel to the older Foxy um, brother um, for many reasons, of course because he has a younger brother um, and of course because he likes Foxy or, or he, has a, he has a correlation with Foxy anyway also he gets beaten up and bruised just like how Michael Afton does um, he turns into this purple dude uh, he even gets a purple hand you know uh, I, I think that's, that's, that's good evidence but this one thing like beforehand I was all Mike victim I was the entire time I was just like, you know what, yes, the bite victim is Michael Afton. And everyone was disagreeing with me and I was like, no, 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 just listen. And then I kind of just was in between, I never really knew where to go. This one story, I'm telling you, this one story changed my opinion. And I now think that Michael Afton is the foxy masked brother. I'm going to show you this one piece of evidence. What we're going to do is, we've got these three stories, we're just going to look at Step Closer. So don't worry about spoilers for any other books, I haven't even read them yet. But um, if you didn't know, this book is all about Foxy and about Pete and his younger brother Chuck. Um, I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole story, but there is one detail uh, that is kind of repetitive in the story. And I'm going to show you what it is. We're going to go into the search bar. This is the entire book, by the way. I It's on Kindle. Um, oh, wait, you can't see. It's on Kindle. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to click the search button, which I just have. And we're going to type in gum. And look what pops up. Okay? We've got six results for gum. The first one appears uh, literally it, like on the first page right uh, and it's talking about how Pete is like he's on the wall like this like at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza he's just chewing his watermelon gum okay just a bit of an odd detail it's just introducing the character he's kind of like a teenager just chewing gum you know like they do uh, I can't say anything I am a teenager <laughs> um, and then we've got another one here um, where he swallowed his gum uh, and this is when they are, they are like with Foxy at this point. They are talking to Foxy and stuff, and they can hear the song. Uh, and he swallowed his gum because um, he was just looking at Foxy like, Ugh! and he took a gulp, and the gum went down his down his throat. That's already two, two pieces of gum, or it, it was one piece of gum probably. But that's already two gum words in like literally five pages May maybe a bit more but you know what I mean gum has appeared twice at the start of the story okay next one wait oh yeah next one 
Uh, Pete, Pete popped a wad of watermelon gum into his mouth and set off walking to the butcher shop. So this was before he went to the butcher shop. Um, and yeah, that, that's basically, he just popped in uh, some more chewing gum. Uh, and then later, the gum in his mouth turned sour. Okay, okay, it's another mention of gum. Uh, it's the same piece of gum from before, of course, but it's still a mention of gum. Next location. He was in a lecture, and he forgot his gum. Okay, he said lectures were always boring and a waste of airspace, but at least gum would have been a distraction. So there we have the gum, the word gum, six times in this story. It may not seem like much at first, but I think from that, we can say that Pete is definitely someone who loves chewing gum, like, all the time. He, he's, he's, what would you say, he's an ex excessive chewer, he's an excessive gum chewer, um, <laughs> if you can even say that. Um, but that's kind of, that's kind of a coincidence, isn't it? That's kind of ironic. Why is that ironic? Hmm. Let's go back to the survival logbook quickly. Now, of course, I don't have a survival logbook here to show you. I've just got all these pictures from this guy um, back in 2018. But let's look back at the survival logbook. We know, go away, we know that there were three kind of main characters. Um, there was Michael Afton, who wrote in red. There was, if I, rem if I recall correctly, there was his younger brother uh, which was in like a faded te I don't know I'm not sure about this and there was also Cassidy or something uh, it's debatable what on what you whatever you think but we know for a fact that the red ink represents Michael because this book was was Michael's book uh, and he was answering all the questions in here so we know for sure Michael had red pen I'm gonna scroll down to one of these pages if I can find it it's this page what I'm I'm about to blow your mind okay this is the page about listing 10 bad habits you'd like to uh, you'd like to get rid of you know you have bad habits and Michael Afton wrote in red ink chewing gum excessively I mean, do I need to say any more? Michael Afton chews gum excessively, and so does Pete. So, Pete is Michael Afton. If Pete has a younger brother, he likes Foxy, and he's basically turning purple from all these accidents, Pete is Michael, Af Michael Afton, and therefore the Foxy brother is Michael Afton. The evidence is there. We go from the um, the games to the Fazbear Fright book to the um, the survival log book. It's all connected. It has to be. It's not a coincidence. It is not a coincidence. We were all probably like, oh, we saw this page and we were like, why has Scott put that there? There's there's no mentioning of gum anywhere in the series, and we all thought maybe it was like a, like a joke or something, an inside joke that he had. Maybe his son has a problem with chewing gum excessively or something. But no, he's put this here for later reference. He's put this here just in case, oh, you know what? People might not actually figure out who Michael Afton actually is, or there might be a debate or something. You know what? I'll put this in here for later, and so people will refer back to this and say oh Michael Afton must be this person uh, because they both chew gum excessively you know it is not a coincidence it's not a coincidence that Michael chews gum excessively and it's not a coincidence that Pete chews gum excessively and it's definitely not a coincidence that Pete is the foxy masked brother so what do you guys think of this this to me is solid evidence like literally solid evidence that Michael Afton is the fo foxy brother. I'm probably going to get loads of hate for this video. I'm, <laughs> I'm probably going to get loads of hate. But this to me is massive evidence.
uh, and it goes along with other other evidence that we've also found in this first story. Uh, and remember, I'm not going to talk much longer, but remember that the Fazbear Fright books uh, are there to answer questions um, and to settle things down in the FNAF community. And one of the big things that needs to be answered is who the hell is Michael Afton? And I think Scott has answered it for us just by this one piece of evidence. So, I think that's it. Um, I don't think I have any anything more to say. I made this video very quickly, as you can probably tell, it, was, it wasn't scripted or anything. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed. I hope that you see what I mean. Um, again, thank you to Emperor Krakoa, I said it right that time, <laughs> for, uh, for pointing this out. Uh, I would not have made this video at all uh, or seen anything like this if he didn't say anything. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Goodbye!